Ipinamalas na naman ang kagandahan, kagalingan at katalinuhan ng mga natatanging binibini sa ating bansa. Apat sa kanila ang nangibabaw ang kagandahan dahil sa kahangahanga nilang advokasya sa kapwa at sa bayan. At ang bawat isa din sa kanila, bago nagtagumpay, naku nakaranas din pala ng iba't ibang pagsubok sa buhay. Give way sa apat na pinay na beauty and brains with a heart. Alamin natin ang nasa likod ng mga kwentong binibini. Sila ang mga nagagandahang binibini sa ating bansa. Apat na pong kandidata na nagpamalas ng maladyosang pigura. Husay sa pagrampa at talinong pang certified beauty queen. Pero apat lang sa kanila ang sinuerte at namukod tangi para koronahan bilang mga bagong reyna ng binibining Pilipinas 2023. Siya ang nagwagi bilang second runner-up sa katatapos lang na binibining Pilipinas. Ang dating sport team sweetheart ng Canada at 2018 ex-housemate ni Big Brother, Rain Parani ng Cavite. So Rain Parani, parang alam mo na na one day magre-rain ka talaga. Ganun ba ang iniisip ng parents mo nung binigay sa'yo yung pangalan na yan? Actually, I did not know, but my mom's side was really into beauty pageants. So my mom's sisters and them have been consecutively winning in the same pageant before in their school. So it was something that I grew up with. Na I had interest in pageantry and like walking really well. Pero kahit na nasa dugo ang pagiging reyna dahil mula sa angkan sila ng mga beauty queen. Ang 14 sweetheart ng Canada, Ray. Sinubukan muna niyang pasukin ang showbiz mula sa pagpasok sa Big Brother House. Nabigyan din siya ng pagkakataong umarte sa mga teleserye. I really wanted to make an opportunity para sa sarili ko. So yun po, hanggang sa naging beauty pageant na yung um, nakuha ko as an opportunity. Tapos mas nakita ko po na mas... May purpose po yung ginagawa po namin, lalo na po sa mga advocacy. At mas naramdaman ko po kasi yung support ah, mula sa mga tao nung nag-pageant po ako. Sa pagsali sa mga beauty pageant, mas nakita at naramdaman ni Rain ang oportunidad. Ay ang pagpupursigin niya na makapagtapos ng pag-aaral. A lot of my teenage years were sacrificed, compromised, and parang... I was left behind po during those years, so Ooh. I really made sure na parang I had to maximize it pa rin po na kaya ko pa rin maging masaya and I'm still working hard. Lumaki sa Canada si Rain. Ang kanyang daddy, isang welder doon. But you know, welders in Canada, they earn well. Yes, diba? they do, they oh. do. But it was it was hard for my dad po din uh, mm. na mag-isa din po doon. It's a, it's a constant battle for us every year na pag wala po siya, it's all girls in our household. Sa tagumpay na mayroon ngayon, kung may babalikan daw siya sa kanyang nakaraan na nagpatatag sa kanya, ito ay ang mga panahon na siya'y nabuli minsan. What can you say about bullying? All I can say is that you don't really have to listen to other people's opinions. Parang kapag alam mong maganda ka or kapag alam mo yung kakayahan mo or even the potential that you can have in the future, kaya kong patunayan sa sarili ko. I always said that during my PBB years na I'll prove them all wrong and I feel like I did. Ang binibining Pilipinas first runner-up naman na si Katrina Johnson ng Davao del Sur. Ipinanganak at lumaki sa Amerika. Kung pusa naman ng life doon, was it good for you? Um, I would say I was very privileged in a way. I acknowledge naman that we definitely weren't the wealthiest in the area. But I would say there was definitely a few like unconventional struggles in my upbringing. Um, and I think that kind of shaped my mindset and kind of shaped who I am today. Itinaguyod si Kat ng kanyang daddy sa likod ng pagkakaroon ng kondisyon nito sa pandinig. You grew up 
sign language with your dad? How? Honestly, my earliest memory was always, you know, make sure you look at your dad when you speak to him. My dad solely lip read and he became, you know, this math wizard. He became the head financial analyst of a Fortune 500 company. He has the best vocabulary that I know out of anyone I've ever met. So, I mean, my dad really is kind of like the trials he to triumphs like kind of story. Book of world Honestly, person. Maliban sa pagiging maganda at kabugera sa pagrampa ni Kat, isa rin siyang registered pharmacist. Have you come to terms with that? Kung bakit you took a pharmacy and then your mother got sick so early in her life? In some sort of kind of sad twist of fate, it happened for a reason because it really allowed me to be super, super kind of involved in my mom's whole cancer process her. Gamit ang nalalaman sa pharmacy, inalagaan niya ang kanyang mommy na may lung cancer noon. Pero noong 2021, binawian na rin ang buhay ang minamahal na nanay. Katrina Ann Castilleta Johnson, Davao del Sur! Kaya ipinangako niyang tutuparin ang pangarap ng kanyang mommy na makasali sa Binibining Pilipinas. Pangarap niya talaga para sa iyo yun, kasi ganun din siya dati. For me, she was always really open to whatever I wanted. So she left that up to me. And it was after my first national pageant that she was like, Okay, what is it that you want? Ito na ba talaga? Pageantry ba? So we talked. We stayed up all night. And I was like, Mom, Bini Bini, like that's the ultimate dream for me. Right. And she opened up and she was like, Actually, like that was my dream when I was your age. What I am most unapologetic for is my authenticity, my honesty, my sincerity. Kahit my wala na ang mommy niya na number one supporter at lucky charm daw niya sa mga pageant, sinisigurado pa rin ni Kat na kasakasama pa rin niya ang mommy sa pamamagitan ng pagsusuot ng hikaw, sing-sing o kahit na anumang damit na may design ng butterfly o paru-paru. I think I've done what I can to make sure that it's not only my journey but hers as well. Sa bigat na pinagdaanan ni Kat sa buhay, tinupad pa rin niya ang pangako sa kanyang ina na tuloy ang laban. Bini Bini Pilipinas 2023 first runner-up is Bini Bini number 33, Katrina and John. At hindi naman siya nabigo dahil nag-uwi din siya ng corona titulo. What do you think is the biggest lesson you've learned from everything you've been through, growing up the way you did? I think if you're really able to stay true to who you are and your life, your life story, your background, that is something that is so powerful. And being able to share that with others is truly a blessing in, it, in itself. This is the 50 gram jar. Ay, proud ako, lumaki na siya. So, ang face cream mas nakaka-exfoliate kasi kaya yan ng ating neck and face. K-Magic Skin Cream for Face. Ang stunning Phil German naman na si Anna Lacrini ng Bataan, ang tinanghal na binibini ng Pilipinas Globe ngayong taon. Your crown looks heavy. Mabigat ba yung crown? No, it is, it is an honor to have finally made it to that since it's my second time joining. Hindi na sana muling sasali si Anna sa contest dahil natalo na siya noong isang taon. Pero dahil sa pagtulak din ng kanyang mga taga-suporta at mga Pinoy fans, rumes back siya at sumali sa Binibini. At achieve naman ang tiwalang ibinibigay sa kanya ng kanyang mga tagahanga. Nasungkit rin niya ang special award na Best in Swimsuit. Pero alam nyo bang na body shame din siya noon? Body shaming? You said, why? Bakit? Malaking-malaki ka ba dati? Oh, yes, last year po. Kasi it was after the pandemic. And it was really hard to see all those comments, all those hate comments with, oh my God, she gained so much weight. Oh my God, she's too fat. But then coming back stronger this year and getting the best in swimsuit was really fulfilling for me. Wow. And to show all these haters, I can do it. <laughs> this year's Bini Bini Filipinas Globe is Bini Bini! Ang mahinhin na Phil German beauty queen, sporty, kaya game na game sa mga hamon sa buhay. Gagawin ng lahat, makamit lang ang hinahangad na tagumpay. No matter what you do, no matter what other people say, there are so many people that are trying to push you down. You always have to believe in yourself. 
and you always know that you have people that are supporting you, like your family and your dearest friends, because no matter if you win at the end of the day or if you lose, those are the people that will always stick with you. Pinay na pinay naman ang kanyang kagandahan. Siya si Angelica Lopez ng Palawan, ang 2023 Binibining Pilipinas International. What does it take to be a Miss Binibining Pilipinas International? Tingin mo? For me, I believe that one should have a brave heart and a strong mind. Well, in joining a beauty pageant, particularly in Binibining Pilipinas, you know, it, it's not an easy step. There will be challenges along the way. There will be people that will criticize you of how you look. Angelica Dana Lopez, province of Palawan! Tulad ng ibang nanalo sa paligsahan na ito, may mabigat rin siyang kwento. Ipinanganak sa isang simpleng pamilya sa Palawan si Angel. Ang kanyang mga magulang parehas na mga musikero. Paano naman ang buhay sa probinsya? Sa province, well, it's really a fact that we have like limited resources, and we like really appreciate and celebrate the little things when you live in a province. And I myself have experienced that as well. I know what it feels like to be in a situation na ito lang kung ano lang yung nakahanda sa harapan mo yun lang yung meron ka. Naranasan rin ni Angel lang iba't ibang hirap sa buhay, magulam ng talbos ng kamote. At kung minsan, umi-extra na tagahugas pa siya ng pinggan para lang may pandagdag kita sa pamilya. Bakit ganun yung mga kwento ng lahat, ano, ng mga nanalo, mga inapidate? Tsaka galing din sa hirap. It's only a story that could empower other people. You know, every one of us, hindi naman tayo pinanganak na mayaman agad tayo. So, as beauty queens who have experienced the same thing, we want to share the power of us, our stories to also inspire those people. Mayad nga daw kanindong tanan. Hindi rin niya naisip na maging isang beauty queen. Dahil noong kabataan niya, lagi pa siyang tinutukso dahil sa kulay ng kanyang balat na mulata. Bakit ka tinutukso dati nung maliit ka? Ano ba yung sinasabi nila tungkol sa'yo? Inaasar nila ako of how I look like. And of course, my skin color, yung pagkapayat ko, pagkatangkad ko. And you know what? Eventually, I learned to really love myself kasi I realized na when you join a beauty pageant, you're loved and accepted for who you are. And itong kulay na to, yung lahat ng mga kinikritisize sa mga tao, maganda pala siya sa mata ng lahat. Hanggang dumating na nga ang kanyang magical night. Our Binibining Pilipinas International 2023 is Binibini 6, Angelica Lopez! Sinong mag-aakala na mula sa lamay, naging representative na siya ng kanilang barangay? At ngayon, pambato pa ng Pilipinas para sa international competition sa 2024. My parents that taught me that I wouldn't just be that, you know, the simple or ordinary girl from Palawan na laging kinikritisize ng ibang tao. Katulong ang Teen Goals Foundation at Alima Philippines. Abala si Angelica sa pagtulong sa mahihirap, lalo na sa kabataan. I am an advocate for the less fortunate children. I really want to help them to see that, you know, there is hope in this life. There will always be people who will be your guiding light, who will... Help you to become successful. Gan na hindi ka nagiisa sa buhay na to. Ang pagiging beauty queen hindi lang na babase sa ganda at talino. Kahit sino ay pweding maging reina sa kanika nilang larangan. Tulad ni na Rain, Kat, Anna at Angel. Basta ang mahalaga ay ang pagtanaw sa pinagmulan at ipagpatuloy ang magandang advokasya para sa kapwa. Dahil mahigit pa sa corona, ang mas tumatatak sa reyna ay dapat confidently beautiful with a heart. Huwag natin kakalimutan the dark secrets of our body. No more dark secrets because meron na tayong kilikilikit. Ayan, kilikilikit has the 
Dio roll on sa loob. May window na rin para hindi na rin ninyo buksan pero ipapakita ko sa inyo ha. You have the Dio roll on for day. And hindi tulad ng iba na nakakaitim daw ang antiperspirant nila ito nakakaputi. By day and at night para manuot ang whitening, you have the Kili Kili Underarm Serum. Yan. Pagbalinis sa malinis na ang Kili Kili. Kung di pa kayo pumuti dito, ewan ko na lang. Okay? So, double action na yan for your Kili Kili.